Good afternoon. We clearly have the storms rolling in pretty much right at lunchtime and continuing this afternoon. A severe thunderstorm watch in the yellow has been issued until 6 p.m. That means we might have a few more severe thunderstorms, especially in the next few hours. And also, of course, overlaid to the north, you can see the green that indicates a flash flood watch that's also extending but covered up by the severe thunderstorm watch south of the lake. And that's for the three to five plus inches of rain between right now. The flash flood watch just started all the way through Thursday at noon. And what a mess on radar, especially for areas off to the west. So we've seen these showers and storms filling in. And as I showed you, just a thousand or more lightning strikes just over the past few minutes with this complex of storms, especially around Hammond in Tangipahoa Parish and edging almost into St. Tammany. Now a severe thunderstorm warning Morning continues for another 15 minutes or so for hail and high wind gusts in the yellow shaded area. And there's going to be a new one coming out shortly. The National Weather Service just issued another one north of the lake. We have the downpours heading into New Orleans along the West Bank over toward Metairie and not quite to New Orleans East yet, but getting there and in other parts of the city too. around Raceland. There's some very heavy rain, and this might be where we're also seeing the potential for some hail and tracking this out over to the northeast. These are moving about 25 miles per hour or so to the northeast. You can see the tentative timeline. If that cell holds together, it would eventually be near River Ridge by maybe 1230 or a little after. North of the lake, here is the new. You can see the yellow watch um, warning box here uh, for another 30 minutes or so for St. Tammany Parish. This line is bringing some high wind gusts up to maybe 60 miles per hour, plus the potential for some hail and obviously some heavy rain and some lightning. So this is going to continue uh, pressing to the east. So a tentative timeline here brings it over to other spots farther to the east near Pearl River and Slidell as we get into maybe 1 p.m. or so. So just a little more time before the rain really picks up there. High pressure has shifted east. The yellow box is our severe thunderstorm watch box, and we have a front to our north, and we've also seen warmer air surging in here, prompting some of that shower and storm activity to really just kind of uh, blossom up and flourish out to the west and now fill in for us. So what to expect this afternoon? We continue with the chance for some more heavy downpours. This is not doing the best job at initializing, but you can see the general idea of what may happen. Still some rain in the area by 2 and 3, maybe even toward 5 p.m., but by then it should be subsiding uh, gradually as we get past kind of the middle of the afternoon north and northwest over to the east and southeast. This could be about 7 p.m. So we'll see that line kind of uh, converging, bringing some heavy rain and then eventually making it south. But certainly watch out. Uh, well, don't head out in any sort of uh, strong weather like we're having right now in your car. And then also, of course, if you do eventually end up on the roads, please watch out for street flooding. And just remember the old saying, turn around, don't drown. That will be something to think about as we get into the next couple of days. The rain subsides tonight. This is 3 a.m. Pretty quiet tomorrow morning during the early morning hours. But look at this, we may get another wave of rain showing up possibly as early as tomorrow morning and then another outbreak of showers and some thunderstorms by 2 p.m. Tomorrow this model is showing and then by 7 p.m. Again, the rain kind of subsiding. So we've been saying all day it's not the overnight storms to wake you up like last week, but we do have it during the day, maybe when some of you are out and about. So different and kind of timing for the threats. We are watching for the flooding potential, the street flood potential, also the high wind gusts. And at the moment, there is a hail potential. Overall, though, the next couple of days, these would be the main things that we're watching for. And rain totals range. This is all the way through late Thursday night. The European model has a couple of inches and then the G DFS has a lot more, but this one has been fluctuating a lot, I will say. Our severe risk for today continues at a level two for most of our area. We'll be watching closely and then tomorrow it's at a level one, so probably not quite as many really strong storms with the wind gusts and the hail tomorrow, uh, but we will be looking for probably some more rain and the heavy rain will be the big issue. We are now under that flash flood watch starting now. It started at noon and continues, as I said, until Thursday at noon and even past that we have a chance for rain into Friday and Saturday before a front finally moves through to dry us out in the second part of the weekend.